Hi there, my viewers are in this whole universe. Hope to this fun and refreshment could be swallowed through my own experience. And today we are communicating with you about robust clustering algorithms and how to use them and how to apply them to the different fields of technology <laughs> things. Okay, it is fintech, martech, femtech, edtech, edutech, proptech, agrotech, and other types of tech. Run tech, if you will apply it to the sport tech of, of running and etc so let's find out what is clustering clustering it is the specific types of machine learning algorithms yes you are machine learning entrepreneurs so or machine learning uh, uh, engineers so you can apply them in this form imagine that you have x-axis and y-axis or maybe x-axis so y-axis it is all depends how you how how will you how will you place the region so we have uh, dots inside of our main data sets yes we have a lot of dots dots they are here points yes and we can group some points together for example we have dots here it is actually the tree for us but for the machine it will be the sameness and something that is similar to each other it will be the tree yes and also we have some of the snow it is another color of dots and they are kind of similar to each other so we can group objects together I mentioned that have objects here objects here objects here and you can say that it's cluster number one cluster number two cluster number three okay everything is fine everything is good everything is wunderbar and etc so also we have uh, something like uh, like robust clustering. Robust clustering is the subfield of clustering algorithms. And uh, here is uh, here is the idea. We have the data. Here's the data. Here's the data. And also we have some outlying data here. Something that is uh, not similar to everything else, and something that is kind of outlierness or or the deviated data or the data that is super far away from the main data that we don't need it is the most important that outliers it is uh, something that we don't need because sometimes it could be the novelty novelty is something that we need that is deviated but outlierness it is something that is making our data not really nice in terms of the when we calculate aggregation functions when we calculate aggregation functions actually we need to, to, to I imagine that we have dots here yes I imagine that we have only one cluster and also we have some outlying data here and here's the data we will calculate without this we'll calculate aggregation function of the center of the cluster it will be the center is it will be here but when we imagine that we have data here and also we have the super exaggerated point here so we will calculate right now aggregation function of the mean value average uh, arithmetic mean yes and then it will be kind of here the center of cluster but actually the cluster is here the center is uh, each uh, uh, the center should be here and uh, uh, not here yes so uh, it makes uh, in terms of the in terms of the outlierness outliers make our data not really nice in terms of the calculating aggregation functions aggregations aggregation can uh, aggregation functions values aggregation functions values they will be not really nice in terms of the, they uh, they could be not super accurate not precise but if we will use a robust clustering algorithms then we can uh, use this data and that data and we can eliminate or decrease or remove some of the influence of this data to the aggregation functions and everything will be fine everything will be fine robust clustering it is about super strong powerful nice and something that we can kind of trust it is uh, the trustfulness of our algorithm that everything well we will have uh, some of the data that is super exaggerated and no we don't need it we actually we will not pay attention to it as in real life yes sometimes something could happen uh, but uh, with robustness we can believe that everything will be fine everything will be good everything will be kind of uh, <laughs> in order everybody yes and so 
Right now it is our our way of doing robust clustering. Robust clustering we can apply to sport tech, fintech, femtech, art, architecture technologies, marketing technologies, finance technologies, also to the property in terms of the real estate things we can apply there. Also we can apply to the feminine in terms of the in terms of the woman technologies. Yes, and also sport technology and advertisement technologies education technologies everywhere because in terms of the data we we can see the data through the different forms of how we look uh, how we perceive uh, how how perceptual perceptual information in terms of the it could be written uh, written form it could be in terms of the audio in terms of the video in terms of the photo photo actually and video it is almost the same but video it is more it is kind of in terms of the dimension Dimensions, it has one, plus one dimension, kind of, in terms of the, there are a lot of this, a lot of photos, say this, the video. Actually, we have audio, uh, written form, <laughs> photo, and video. It is uh, four different forms that we can, <laughs> that we can apply to the, to the form of uh, data sets in terms of the numbers. And actually, we have the, the precise of num numbers in terms of the actually numbers, uh, real n in terms of the uh, numbers. We have numbers or written, and uh, we have numbers and also string values. Actually, there are a lot of types that you can see, we can really th think about it as data structures or data types or data structures. Second, uh, by short in low flow, double chance finger, a tuple, least v, least a, three a, well, three, and etc. Actually, it is all about how we look at uh, different types of data. So, we have the data, we have the measures of it, we have length, width, height, depth, RGB, RGBA, HSL, HCL, HSV, HSB, CUY, CUYK, in terms of the color models also we have. We have longitude, latitude, altitude, uh, and things of this nature. It is actually, it is how can we look at the data, how can we measure something in our real world. And so, you can use robust clustering algorithms by using this data. Actually, in my previous videos, I talked about how can we use it in athletics, in terms of the, for example, colors, yes? 255-00 and 250-00, it is two different things. But in terms of the preciseness, one of these components, one of this, uh, one of this uh, numbers uh, of the t t t three tri triads, yes, uh, one of the triads will be better for us in some values. For example, 255.00 is kind of more more uh, um, it is closer to 244.00 than 250.00 in terms of the colors yes and the same with the number of uh, 249.00 it is closer to 250.00 than 255.00 actually it is uh, about colors it is about uh, how we can see the pixels yes and also the same with the uh, Values of post that x, post that y, post that z, well that x, well that y, well that z, I see that x, I see that y, I see that z, which means for us position, accel uh, position velocity and acceleration for some values. Also, it could be applied to the word to vec, doc to vec, <laughs> and others, uh, tal to vec, patch to vec, log to vec, item to vec, user to vec, no, uh, uh, node to vec, node, uh, n o d e to vec, uh, <laughs> the, 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 technologies and different types of representation through the vectors of uh, our data. For example, a word to vec and doc to vec, we can apply it to the textual data. For example, we can ask, we can ask people on the streets, do the interview of people and we have the answers from the people from our questions and we have some words and docs and uh, documents say, in terms of the sentences that they said, for example, and we can apply them in terms of the, again, vectors, uh, the specific numbers that are describing the words. The same with audio, we have some of the information and so we can transcribe it to different types of sign, cosine, tangent, cotangent, second, cosecond, arc, sign, arc, sign, arc, tangent, arc, arc, arc tangent, second, cosecond, x second, x second, ver sign, ver sign. We can apply it in terms of the different types of uh, trigonometric functions 
and uh, audio could be transcribed to the numbers and I, actually we will find out this and also we will have hertz number and also in terms of the different types of one divided by the time and uh, also we have amplitude of something and actually we have the data about our different types of periodic functions and uh, different types of voice uh, of voice information yes and we have uh, different types of uh, acoustics here and we can describe our audio files and the same with the if we will imagine that we have x, y, z axis, x, y and z axis, then the same thing. We will look at the screen and everything is fine and right now we can group objects together and we can delete, remove or decrease the influence of our outliers that we have. And everything will be alright, everything will be fine. Oh Jesus Christ, so one water drop <laughs> fell from the tree, everything is fine. So you can apply it everything will be fine improve Saldele go forward Im improve your robust clustering algorithms I will continue to write my PhD thesis and scientific research papers I do this uh, daily right now I need to write one uh, one more and also do this, uh, do the jo do your job with uh, human activity recognition HAR in terms of the robust clustering you can do this so I believe in you see you next time Saldele you are a nice guy go and also do exercises create build make and Construct, develop, design, invent, originate, do sports exercises, do facial exercises, do breath exercises, and do vocal exercises. See you next time. Bye bye. <laughs> and Chinese my Chinese friends, hello too. And see you next time. Bye bye.